Hey, check this out. Saturday morning cartoons with Jake and Jamie. Enjoy the show. That's what I'm talking about right there. You like that? You like that, Jamie? That's awesome. You mad? Uh, I'll do a lot of work for for a little bit of a joke. <laughs> <laughs> uh we got a lot to talk about and we'll get to that but i'll give it to you jamie introduce yourself and do your 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 uh, magic wingman stuff that you do all the time oh okay, uh so i am jamie from jp woodwork uh, over on the twitters uh the instagrams and mainly the youtubes um i've got a couple more additions to my uh wall of sticker fame uh wayne the woodturner and pat lap so they're gonna go there. I've got a main sticker wall, but that's they're going there. So that's my uh, that's my little spiel. Uh, okay. The start. All right. That's it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. Over to you. You know, hey. Um, one thing we we're gonna talk about. Let me get a different view here. Well, I have Jamie up on this one too. Uh, one thing we're going to talk about today, uh, the community lost a great person, Braxton Worthen, and uh, there's a GoFundMe in the description, and we'll talk about that at the end of the show. That seem appropriate, Jamie? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so we'll do that. Um, uh, we'll talk about that in depth at the end, and we're going to make, what are we going to make today, Jamie? We're going to make some pen blanks and some turning blanks. Some turning blanks. Special turning blanks. There you go. Yeah. Ready? I'm going to start mixing that first color, the first, uh, the liquid diamonds. And then uh, you can do your thing, and then we'll, we'll uh, be more prepared than we was last time that we poured the liquid diamonds. <laughs> cool. Yeah, because that was a train that was a train wreck last time. Yeah. So um, straight away, we're going to be needing three colors. So people's out in the chat, do your worst. We're not going to ban any colors at the moment except for copper. Yeah, no copper. Um, but that's that's Jake. So <laughs> sorry, mom. Yeah. Unless I get a sandwich. I'm getting a. Uh, I'm just. I'm keeping an eye on the chat. So as soon as they pop up. Uh, right. So we've got Simona says silver. Yeah, uh, eye candy red, and turquoise. Okay. One second. Let me get rid of this cup. So we got turquoise. Yep. I got that. What else was there? I wasn't paying Silver attention. Silver and red. Silver and red. Okay. Baku red. Sounds good. Mm -hmm. And I just got a silver. I just got some katana gray. That sounds silver, right? Yep. Or Shadow Gray. Let me make a decision. Yep. Shadow Gray is a lighter color, so we'll do that. Okay. Let me get this mixed up a little bit. Um, this week, we had the fair. I went to the fair with the my daughter and grandbaby. And, of course, you eat ridiculous food that you should never, ever eat. And grandbaby is almost nine years old, and she learned a valuable lesson. <laughs> we ate some food and then they rode some rides. We went to go eat some more food and she said, Mama, do I look green? <laughs> so she goes, they go stand over by the uh, trash cans or whatever. And, and uh, it happened. I got a show. I got the best show in the world. I was so proud. She's growing up. She's growing up at her first projectile vomit experience at the fair. So proud. It was good. There you go. <laughs> there's, there's the uh, the app. So while you're uh, while you're doing a bit of mixing, I'm going to quickly run through the uh, the people in the chat. It's not going to let me go all the way back to the start, I don't think. Okay. Um, but I'm going to go back, and if I miss anyone, I apologise. Just write your name back out, and, or write a comment in, in the chat, and I'll uh, I'll get to you. So uh, Martin Brees is out there. Alex, which is super incognito, is out there. Uh, right. Shane Hurst is out there. Joey from Still Bloodwood Works. 
Um, let's keep going down. Jake, you're out there. Simone Simmons out there. Chris Schwinn is out there. Leah Gwynn is out there. Got the girls uh, out there. Yeah. Yeah, the, the girls are out there. Jen Smiths uh, is out Ooh. there. Uh, Mom Thompson's out there. What's up, Mom? Uh, Leah Forrest. Hello, Leah. What's up, Leah? Um, let's keep going. Uh, Dwayne Mueller. I'm, I apologize if I butchered your name. Welcome Is that there? The um, I thought some few new names, Jamie. I did. I did too. I did too. So I'm going to keep going. Uh, Jim Conlon's out there. Um, Look, let's Jim. keep going down. Keep going down the line. Uh, Wayne the Woodturner's out there. You see your sticker up on the wall now, Wayne? You're joking, you, man. You've made, you've, made, you've made the wall of fame. You're joking, man. <laughs> uh, we have Keith Carruthers out there. I believe Look, that's Keith. a new name. Good. Welcome to the um, show, Keith. Let's keep going. Uh, Shane Hurst. I, I can't remember if I said that name yet, but um, I've just said it settle again. Down. Settle down, Alex. I don't have the new. I don't have all the colors. Settle down there, Sparky. <laughs> all right. uh, Dale Slaughter is out there. Uh, Wayne Hillman's out there. Mr. Cole Jacobson's out there. Hello, Robin. Which means hello, Robin. There you go. Uh, let's keep going. Uh, CJ's hobbies out there. TBC Bushins. Uh, Rachel Mongosa is out there. What's up, Rachel? Uh, John Augustine is out there. Uh, let's get. I'm at the bottom of my chat now, so if I apologise if I uh, if I missed anybody. So. Um, Let's get on with the uh, the usual question of the day. I'll tell you, Rolando Fuentes is out there. Rolando. What's up, Bubba? Uh, Alt and Bonnie 1969 is out there. So, uh, Alt and Jaina Smith as well. Hey. And Martin Brees as well. What's up, brother? Um, who else have I... Uh, I don't think I've missed anyone else. If I have, I apologise. Just write a comment out in the chat and say, "Jamie, you're an idiot," and I'll uh, I'll get to you. Uh, I'll get to you after I've uh, done the next sure. uh, the next segment of the show. If you're gonna call if you're gonna call Jamie an well, idiot. Make sure you spell it right. <laughs> <laughs> it's spelled J A K E. Oh, I should have known. Should have right. known. So, uh, the question of the day is. Um, what is your favourite food at the fair? Yeah. Going on from Jake's previous story. Projectile um, food. And William Sturgeon is out in the chat, and Anita Ball as well. What's up, Anita? William? Welcome this morning. Hope everybody liked the new logo. <laughs> I did. It's, it's uh, fantastic. Joey said funnel cake. Yeah. I think that's what got her, Joey. I think that's what got her. Funnel cake and a funnel cake and a a crazy ride. Alex says none. It makes me sick. Uh, <laughs> Simone Simmons says mini donuts. Jen loves the logo. Uh, Leah yeah. says corny dogs. Corny dogs. Oh, yeah. Chris says she doesn't have fares there. Oh man, we don't really have them here either. Mama says curly fries is with cheese, not sandwiches. Yeah. Then not sandwiches. I did have some. They call them potato tornadoes. <laughs> uh, Jen says um, Indian fry bread taco. Oof. Never had uh, that. Bonnie says the tacos at the YOLO Country Fair are awesome. Dale also says, uh, or Dale Slaughter says uh, funnel cakes also. So what happens is you end up getting the, the things that you know are good. And by the time you eat that, you're done. Like you can't try new stuff because you're already full. <laughs> Or you should Rolando, be full. Rolando said deep fried cheesecake. Yeah. I think I want to move to America. They deep fry everything, man. William Sturgeon says ribeye steak sandwich. That sounds like my kind of meal. <laughs> you like uh, that? Alex says, uh, tell Jake to send me his address because I want to uh, send him some stuff uh, at JP Woodwork. Send me a message on Instagram there, young man. Uh, Martin we'll... Breeze says, I'm fat. I love it all. I feel your pain, <laughs> Martin. I feel your pain. <laughs> I don't think it's pain. I think they, they some be proud of it, man. Yeah, I be happy. Be happy. Yeah, 
I think I'm going to do a little bit less. Uh, Rochelle Mongosa says, nothing beats Indian fry bread. Uh, CJ Tobber says, elephant, e elephant ears? Elephant yeah. ears and deep fry Oreos? Elephant ears. The elephant ears are more like up north. Like when I w we would go to Michigan in the summers, uh, they had those up there. I've never had them down here, but we always had them. It's kind of like funnel cake, but different. All right. Pretty, okay. It's pretty good. Uh, Alex says he's doing it right now. And we have Matt from Wacky Works is in. Uh, he says, hello, y'all. Uh, building What's a up, chicken man? coop. I wanted to pop along and say uh, Amarillo by uh, morning up from <laughs> San Antonio. Oh, here he goes. He's trying to sing again. That's what he's doing. That's all right. Oh, is he? He's singing. He was singing that song last night. Yeah, he did. He does that on occasion. Just let him go. Let him do it, man. It makes me yeah. happy. This is what this is yeah. what this is what these mornings are all about. Let me get my Joey was singing. I paint in the morning. I paint in the evening, and all that kind of stuff. Uh, <laughs> Leah crazy. Leah was singing. Uh, Leah was singing. No, she wasn't. She was commenting. Yeah. Fried cheese. Yeah. Uh, Jen is uh, crafting questions. Is in. She says hello, Jake and Jamie. Hello, hello Jen. Hello there. Hello, Jen. Glad Leah to see says, uh, um, Rachel, you are so right. Fry bread wrapped around a buffalo brat. Mm. They had one. There was one that had like the all the regular stuff. I say regular. All the crazy stuff. But everything was wrapped in bacon. And then fried. <laughs> Uh, Alex says uh, he's from Michigan. If you ever hear uh, Jake, please tell me, uh, and I'll find you out. And we can have lunch. Alrighty. Wacky Works is from Michigan. He, he might go back yeah. there one day. Yeah. CJ Hobby says bread. He's a go big blue. He's a go big blue guy. Uh, he says uh, CJ Hobby says uh, I like a flat bread uh, Barrera coated uh, in butter, sugar, and cinnamon. Ooh. I didn't hear anything on that that sounded bad. Let me get this AC kicked on, man. I wasn't paying uh, attention. Whew. Dale Stewart says, I'm in the uh, the thing I'm in the Finger Lakes area of upstate New York. There's people from everywhere around. And you'd be amazed, just like in England, we were talking the other night, was talking about uh England and you go somewhere just a little bit, drive a couple hours and it's totally different. Yeah. 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 Big different, act different. And you can get sandwiches in all of them places except for Amarillo. <laughs> I think I was just about to make up with her. You're not helping. You're not sorry, helping. sorry <laughs> Mom. Okay. Hey, we're just about to make up. <laughs> Had something, something in the works for her. But I do need a sandwich. That's my bargaining chip, man. That's all. CJ Scobby well, says, Indiana fares, I like chocolate covered bacon. Oh, that sounds nice. <laughs> that's, that does I, sound I, awesome. I can feel my sugar blood uh, and blood pressure rising just by looking, looking at these comments. Okay, is uh, Cindy in the meat sweats. Cindy Keo? I've Cindy, I've seen Cindy earlier. Cindy, are you there? We need to we need to start asking her. Just say, Ooh, I'm here. Yeah. Mama says, oh, Jamie, no, no, you didn't. I did, but Jake told me to. <laughs> yeah, we need to ask Cindy a couple uh, of questions. Bonnie says, uh, how about Amarillo Sky by Jason Aldean? Uh, we yeah. can sing that song by King George Amarillo by morning. Okay, I'm going to set. Let's see here. we got too many buttons now. Yeah, here we are. I'm going to set this liquid diamond stuff aside because it takes like 45 minutes to. But at least this time, like last time, if you were in here, I didn't have the colors mixed in. So it was like kind of late. Uh, we fixed it this time. We learned from our mistakes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we tried to. Um, so now we need we're going to do some turning blanks and I need to set this up first. Um, and if Cindy's in there. Yes, indeed. If Cindy's not in there yet, uh, I'm going to... 7311951 George is in. He says, hi, Jake and everyone else. What's up? I'll just call him George. <laughs> How you doing, George? Good morning. How you doing, George? <laughs> How you doing, George? So what I have is... I have... 
I've already kind of, this is stabilized wood and I have these. We've made one of these before, that purple one. So I cut some wood to go in here and I put it in the oven. So it should be about ready now. And I think I'm gonna save, I have one in mind for Cindy. And then here's this other one and I'll show you all the wood I have for it. Put this back in here. I want this to stay warm. So let me get this. This I this don't is think tiger. she's out. In, I don't think she's out there, Jake. I'll try well, tagging her on YouTube. And, yeah, we'll do. We'll we'll get her done. I'll, I'll hook her up some other time if she don't show up today. Uh, this is a tiger stripe maple. Is what's in the bottom of that that last bowl we made. It looks super cool. And the rest of this is, you know, spalted maple burl and stuff. It's all it's all. Uh, I think my internet's probably about to mess up a little bit. If it does, just give it a minute. It should it should come back. I hate that. And there's nothing I can do about it. Is it playing up? Yeah, you've, you've frozen a little bit, mate. Uh, so this is... Uh, oh, there we go. It should be better now. I can tell. So all this stuff... Yeah, you're, you're back. I'm going to strategically place this in here. And I'll show you kind of how I do it. And in the meantime, we need to either get one color with different shades or pick three colors, which it's up to you, Jamie. You do what you want to. And I'm going to start putting this in the mold. And I have mold release in here. I got these molds from uh, Wacky Works. They they test semen in it, and they it's the best. It was super cool for casting. So, mm -hmm. so what I'm going to do is... Mr. David Birch is out there. Yeah, Dave. Uh, these long pieces like this, I'm going to sit in there, and I have these little clamps. And these clamps won't stay on, but I just want it to. I want them to stay out of the way. And, and I want these to be by the side because they're super, I mean, they're super spalted. And when you turn it, it's going to be awesome. So um, I'm just going to place these around here kind of like that. And then at the end of it, I'll take these clamps off and I'll let it lay like naturally. That's, I think that's the best way to do it. If you want it to look, if you want it to look like kind of like you put it in there, then um, I don't think it looks as good. If you just let it lay down, let it kind of lay how it's gonna, then it yep. it looks it looks more natural that way. Um, so, Ma Martin Brees says your mum has made me a sandwich to say copper. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Good for uh, you, Martin. <laughs> Smith says uh, cool tip. Yeah, thank you. I just, uh, just... Bon Bonnie says she loves turning sported wood. It's awesome. This stuff is awesome. Um, have you ever have one. you ever made a uh, have you ever made a small blank, Jake? Yeah, not no. No, not but really. I made a real big blank. I made a big big boat. <laughs> big here out of control. Let me see. Uh, there. Oh, oh. Sometimes sometimes things don't go your way. Uh when you're Fire doing live, the juggler. You know huh? Why the juggler? It's all right. Mom says, Martin, love you. Check the mail. <laughs> and they're going to get me, man. They're going to get me. That's for sure. Anyway, I'm going to put this here. And don't look back. The uh, thing about this is... I need to have a question. Okay, I, I see it. Uh, I'm just starting out using resin. I don't have a pressure pot yet. What would be the best resin to use for easy bubble removals and for the least amount of bubbles? Or so, the least amount of bubbles, sorry. I'm going to save the rest of this for when I pour. So I'm going to kind of get some mixed in there and pour it. But the the there's tons of different... Let me get my little face on here. Um, there's tons of different resins. And I'm not going to act like I'm expert on all of them. But I use the liquid diamonds because you can pour a little bit deeper with it. You don't have to weigh it. You don't have to put it in a pressure pot. Um easy to turn like it has all the stuff it's just a little harder to control what you get with it if that makes any sense like swirling and stuff mm -hmm. like that the temperature is uh, it's it's not as easy to control as as a lumalite so 
you're still going to get cool stuff. It's just not going to have the control that that your uh, Illumilite does. But Liquid Diamonds is what I tell newer people that that don't have pressure pot. So, uh, uh, need... Mr. Dave Gatton's in, and there's another quick question. Uh, it says from CJ Thomas, Jake, how long are your pen blanks? Uh, five and a quarter. Five and okay. a quarter. We need some. We need a. Uh, we need some colors for this one, so I can get start getting that colors. mixed up. Um, yes, sir. Do you want the chat to pick them, or do you want me to pick them? Yeah, uh, you can pick or uh, the chat can pick them. Yeah, so chat yeah. we need three colors. So Liz picked three there, so we're going to pick the first one, which was turquoise again. Turquoise, there we like some turquoise around here. Martin, I apologize. I'm uh, I'm not saying that. <laughs> I could just imagine. I've, I've missed that. So turquoise, purple. <laughs> purple, we're going to do the... And Jen says uh, cerise. Uh, is that a red? There's one. I know. I got it. I got it right here. Cerise. And then purple. Do we want Barney purple or that color shift purple? Yeah, let's go with Barney purple. Okay. But don't drop it. Don't drop it. Hold on. There we go. Got it. One, two, three. So these these should be cool. And this week, I, I plan on this week turning that purple one we made, uh, the the uh, Connie, the Connie uh, blank. I plan on turning it. And then these ones, so I can turn that one this week. And then these ones, I can turn them the next week. I'm going to make. I have a project planned out for next week too. So I'll, I'm just kind of behind on. I've been doing top secret stuff. <laughs> so I've been real quiet this week. I think everybody's kind of noticed if you. The, the so. ever awesome Carney. Carney's out in the chat. She says, hi, just stopped uh, by to apologize for not being able to be here today. Speaking of the devil. But we're glad you showed up. By golly. Cerise. Uh, Maybe this Rand is the William new. Said, I'm back for some free stuff too. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, Speaking of free stuff. If we get to 100 viewers, uh, there may be a little bit of a Psalm Psalm to give away. So make sure you share out the stream, invite your friends, tell your friends, all that good spiel. Sure enough. And uh, if we get another uh, if we get another 56 people in before the end of the show, <laughs> hey, there'd be a nice little Psalm Psalm to give away. It is fair week, man. You know what I mean? As always. So remember, remember that for next time we go live as well. There's Share the, it all out. So there's the colors. And I have to take a drink of my sweet tea coffee. And start mixing the alumilite. I got to talk my way through this. Turn on the timer. Bonnie, Bonnie says, how about if we get 100 thumbs up? Do it. Do it. Don't be scared. Bonnie's one there of my go. Bonnie's my favorite. Matter of fact, she's going to be part of the project next week. Connie, Connie says, uh, I'm driving, stopped for uh, gas and come by to say hi, but I will definitely watch the replay. Let me guess. One-footed driver? Drive with one foot? Inside joke, Johnny. She just had surgery on her foot. <laughs> there's uh, George says there's a fair somewhere. Yep. Uh, Dale Slaughter says you going to video your uh, you turning your casting. Yeah, I'll, that's that'll be um, when I turn something. I'll I'll record it and edit it and put it out as an edited video. And then I'll always put like a link back to this one so people can watch it being made live. So I think that's pretty uh, cool. Jen said uh, it's because she's a tally girl, huh? Oh, yeah. And Chris said horrible, Jake. What? What'd I do? 
Sometimes I do stuff I don't even know. They say uh, ignorance is bliss. Jane Smith says, got to take off. I'll watch the rest later. Great job, guys. All righty. Take it easy, Jana. Take it easy, Jana. Thanks for stopping by. This should be pretty cool. Let's see. 75 degrees. This week, I kind of was scrambling to get something done because um, I've been working a bunch with silicone and forms and stuff, and, and I haven't been showing it because... Um, people don't know how to control themselves at all whatsoever. So I just kind of, I'm just going to be behind the scenes and doing that. And then uh, when I'm ready to show it, I'll show it. And, and then we'll, uh, but so then I got a, I didn't have time for edited video and I didn't, I really wanted the blank to sit for, I want it to sit for long enough, like seven days, they say is a full cure, but I don't know if you need the whole seven days, but it doesn't hurt to let it sit that long to make sure there's no movement. So you might turn it if you turn it right after, and then you know you'll go back and and feel you could you can feel where the the wood is, uh, or not the wood move, but the uh, the resin has shrunk a little bit because you didn't let it cure. So there you go, and I'll be able to get on a schedule. Say like I make these two here. And I make a couple next week. Then I'll have some to turn every week and get a video out every week. I just have to get ready, get it lined up. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, so that is probably mixed up well enough. Almost 80 degrees. We'll get our colors poured. Uh, Jason Webster is over on Facebook, and he says, uh, how critical is the temperature when doing epoxy? Um, the, if you're not, if you're only doing one color, like if you're talking about epoxy, like on a table or something like that, but if you're doing what we're doing here, if you have one color, it's not that big of a deal unless it has a super, super long working time. And then the, the mica powders can end up sinking to the bottom. So you kind of want to just like this right here, we're going to mix this until it's time to pour. And that way, as soon as we get it in the pot, it's starting to set up, so it doesn't have time to to mess around and and uh, sink or do anything like that. But epoxies have a lot longer working time, and you have to worry about that a little bit more. So just wait. Uh, so I pour the liquid diamonds. I try to pour the liquid diamonds about 140. And then you get good, uh, decent color separation with that, mm. and uh, you know. That's Fahrenheit, you, though, isn't it? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I didn't say Fahrenheit on my stabilizing video, and the guy was like, um, how come you didn't say it was Fahrenheit? I went to 200 and 220 degrees Celsius. I'm like, man, was you on the sun? or <laughs> like, what? Why would you think? Why would you think that that would be okay? But anyway, you know, I have to – sometimes we have to clarify our, what we're saying. Let me clean off my spatula here. Uh, Jane Smith says uh, the colors look like cotton candy from the fair. Yes. They kind of do, actually. Hey, fun fact. Grandbaby don't like cotton candy. What's up with that? <gasps> uh, she don't like cotton candy. For shame. I don't know. You know, some kids are weird, man. I don't know. Jane's put Always a couple of Bernie Bernie uh, signs. <laughs> Fire. Fire. I don't know if this this might be the new red that Alex was talking about. Well, there's so many colors, it's hard to... One, I don't get these for free. Oh, Jen yeah. doesn't like it either. <laughs> Cotton I, candy. I, I do, but my diabetes doesn't. <laughs> Your diabetes is... Diabetes. We got the diabetes. Uh, uh, Bonnie would like to know, how old is your granddaughter? She's almost nine. Some people find that hard to believe that <laughs> I have a grandbaby that old. I started really young. I started really, really young. Which means I can go to the fair with a grandbaby and keep up pretty much. <laughs> 
She was uh, actually she was she was riding riding those guys, or Alex, shall I say, uh, says, no, nope, they are true reds. Their names are all Japanese or something. Okay, so. So, uh. Martin Bree says nine already. Yeah. Yep. I, these cam this backwards camera freaks me out, dude. Wrong way. I'm always going the wrong way. Is that weird? So Alex says, Jake, you look extremely young and I am very serious. <laughs> well, I Alex, you probably that. look older than Jake. You're definitely yeah. taller than him. Probably taller. That doesn't take much. Uh, Nancy, uh, Nancy, I'm sorry, it's, uh, is it Shen, Shenman? Says, uh, my favorite have three bags in the cupboard. Uh, Alex says, I'll send you a couple of grams with my package. Okay. Okie dokie. He also says, he's probably, probably I'm like six feet. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not six feet. <laughs> I am not six feet at all so hey work with what you got you know what i mean you gotta oh i've got a thumbs up on the name nice good oh, i'm glad I'm i didn't mess it up yeah i'm not even gonna try again so you, so you said nancy right i'm, I'm, gonna, <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, quit, I'm gonna quit while i'm ahead <laughs> oh goodness yeah, so uh, let's see. Let's check our temperature here. We're at ninety-two, so we're almost ready to almost ready to start. And I don't want to wait too long because I'm going to be messing around putting this wood in there and stuff. Dale Slaughter just said his granddaughter just had a daughter. Hey, that's awesome. Yeah, hopefully that'll be a long time. Hopefully. Great grandbabies. Uh, CJ's Hobby says, question, who is the artist for your thumbnail? Yeah, uh, I forgot to mention that. Jay Baza, um, I put a link in the description below. He's on Instagram. Super, super good to work with. Super nice guy. And obviously did great work. So he did the he did the logo part of it and then i sent that off to get the animation and the voiceover done so um it don't don't look at him like don't try to get him to do the whole thing but he can make you one heck of a, a logo yeah and he you know he but he's the he has a day job just like just like most people and he does it on his spare time so um my advice is just tell him what you want let him do what he's gonna do and he does a good job just like most artists, kind of just let him do his thing, you know. Uh, so, Carrie Meyer is in. Uh, awesome. Morning, up, Jake, Jamie, and everyone. Good morning. So I'm gonna get this. Hopefully, hopefully we'll be able to see pretty good. I don't know. I can never get that right. But we we'll, should be able to see. Should be able to see all right. Problem is, this stuff is gonna want to float, and like if you're doing it. Um, Sometimes I do stuff on a live that I really wouldn't do it like this in, uh, normally, and it's so that you guys can see it. So normally, if I was going to do this just on my own, I would probably glue all this. I'd get, I did get some UV resin, so I'd probably just glue everything down where I want it so I don't have to worry about it mo moving around. Um, uh, Jay Scott Creations is in. Uh, he says, good morning, everyone. And Bonnie says, uh, Skyline Blue is gorgeous, too. <laughs> hold on hold on one second let what me have you done bonnie what, what have you done yeah. oh here we go um what color we want to pour in first because we're there uh, we've time to go do the red and the uh the, the turquoise together okay Yes, sir. <laughs> you ready? I'm talking as if I know what I'm talking about. It doesn't matter. I don't know what I'm talking about either. So uh, you can't kind of can't do it wrong. So let's see. Oh, I bet I could. 
Well, if it's a challenge, you probably... Uh, Jen says she just picked up some of the deep uh, ocean green. So beautiful. Okay, so I got that to where I need to start. Just put... There's no rhyme or reason. Just kind of fill up the middle. I really wanted... Uh, I didn't want it to be a challenge for the resin to to get around all the wood or if there's any pockets in there, like if I had to fill it all the way up, then you're, you run a chance of having air pockets in there. Know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And I think we have a surprise waiting for us right after I, I pour this. Oh yeah. Yeah. Uh, George would like to know who makes the ocean green. Seaweed. What do you like a color? Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's eye candy. Eye candy. All these, all these colors I'm using today are eye candy. That can you see that pretty, pretty good? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see that, mate. Yeah. And I'm pretty much. Nice. Oh my goodness, this is gonna be cool. I'm gonna. Um, that looks real nice. I'm gonna make sure we use all of this. Uh. Wayne Hillman says, uh, are these going to be pen blanks? <laughs> no, this is going to be like either a... a um, you can make a, a nice vase. box out of that. Yeah, you can make a lidded box or a vase or a little uh, a cups. I've made uh, cups. The, the cups that I have my stir sticks in and stuff. Um, Matt sent me uh, that blank. Matt sent me uh, that blank and I didn't do that. What's up? Uh, Jen says, uh, has made a good point, says Jake had a discount code for it. I do. Cindy Keogh is back. She uh, says, good morning, all. Okay, so now you can start asking her the question. Cindy, I have a question for you. Uh, we would like to get up to three colors from just you, please. Yep. She can either get... Just just different, you, shades, different shades of one color or three different colors. Up to her. Up to you. Up to three colors, Cindy. So various shades of one color or three completely different colors. So now I'm going to take this stuff off so it can kind of just settle where it wants to. I don't want it. I don't want the blank to look like... Um, it was forced, I guess, if that makes any sense at all. And I don't want this stuff to float that much. And it doesn't look like it's going to do too much. But I'm still going to tape it down. Ooh. My first grade tape job here. We know how good I am at taping. Put one right there. All right, I've got the colors, mate. Okay, one second. And we have a surprise here. As soon as I get this in the pressure pot... We have a surprise. I think everybody in the chat will like. So let me get my first grade tape job done. And get this in the pressure pot before it turns into a paperweight. Okay. Pressure we'll do the big one. Can. We'll do the big one. Let me get these gloves off. that I'm kind of glad that ended up being I just guessed at the amount uh, Diana uh, is, uh, Hemp Hemp Liddy I'm sorry if I said your last name wrong um, uh, says to get the bubbles out could you use a pressure bucket on this kind of project that's what we're doing it is a pressure pot now yeah we're doing it. She might have just asked a couple seconds too early. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, the ever awesome Anna B's out there. What's up, Anna? Going on, girl. What's up, girl? Okay, one done. And let me throw this away. And we have a surprise. Hey, honey. <laughs> How are you? 
sandwich. I think she's wearing my t-shirt. Uh, you're wearing Jamie's shirt. I'll I'll take the sandwich. I'll I'll just take the sandwich. Sweet tea. That's what I'm talking about. We'll say hi to we'll say hi to everybody real quick. Hi Jamie, how are you? I'm fantastic. How are you doing? I'm good. It's the first day of my two days, two week vacation. Nice. Yay. nice. I'm well deserved, I'm sure. I'm sure it is, yeah. I almost quit. There you go. So, you got, you're getting a lot of love from out, the people out in the chat. Oh, it's thank mom, you. Mama, mama for the oh, win. Going, he's going get that. Okay, you got to go. I got to go. Next week, you'll have a copper project. Bye. Okay, I love you too. Copper? Yeah, copper. Please. So, truce. All right. I guess, <laughs> get, the, get the hell out of here. <laughs> Sandwich. We got a sandwich. Yay. Let me put this to the side or out. I'll make a pig out of myself. Yeah. Everybody in the chat should be happy. Mama's happy. Mama's happy. Everybody's happy. Good surprise. Everyone loves Mama Thompson. Good surprise. Okay. Yeah. We took the temperatures on these ones. 101. So what did the... Uh, what did yeah, Cindy we got, decide? We, we got the colours. So Cindy picked. She actually picked some fantastic colours. I can't wait to see this blank. Because she's um, awesome. Uh -oh. She picked. Oh, hang on. She said. <laughs> uh, Jamie replaced the pink with copper. There we go. Copper will do. I so just picked one. Do, so it's. Uh, so she's got copper, orange, and purple. Ooh. We'll do the other purple. Is that okay? Yeah, so we've Do used the... Barney Purple, so we can use the other one. Orange. Harry Malika says, awesome surprise. Yeah, that's pretty good stuff. I'm going to eat the heck out of that sandwich as soon as it's over, too. Tiger, I think. Let's do a lighter. We'll do a lighter orange. That ought to look good. Pretty good. So next week will be a super cool project for Mom. And Bonnie says Aztec purple question mark. Uh, this is, let me tell you the names before I start. Um, uh, Wisteria purple, Wisteria purple, Aki, AKI copper and, uh, Kakiro orange is what we're working with. Here. Um, Diane, uh, Diane's got a question for you. <clears throat> yes. Go um, ahead. She wants to know, uh, I would like, I want to purchase a pressure pot, but I have no idea which one to get start out with. Thank you. Okay, there's a couple of schools of thought. One of them is going to be um, depends on where you're at. But you do the Harbor Freight route, so it's somewhere around a hundred bucks. But um, if you can afford a better pot, the five gallon pressure. It's, there's a link to that one in the description. I don't know if it's in stock right now, but if you can afford the five gallon pot. It's so much better, so much more convenient, and that's that's my suggestion. But if you look up Harbor Freight Pressure Pot, um, I I have a video on there how to uh, how to do it, and it's it's cheap and it'll get you into it. So like if you don't know if you're gonna like this, the Harbor Freight's probably a good idea, you know, so that uh, you're not spending a bunch of money if you don't know if you're gonna like something. Mm -hmm. Le Leah says, uh, Mom hooked you up. Yeah, she did. Yeah, she did. Uh, Alex says, uh, the Aztec purple comes out like blue until you shine light on it. Then it's purple. All righty. All righty, Alex. Ooh, this is going to be awesome. Cindy. Uh, point is, there is Diane Jake just did a video on a pressure pot. Uh, everyone's suggesting the California air tools. Yeah, it's a, it's a, you take it out of the box, you, you plug air into it and you, and you start casting. It's, um, the other ways you have to convert the pot and do all that stuff, which is not that big of a deal if you're that kind of person, but not everybody, not everybody is that kind of person. So, you know, one of those deals, let me build this. Let me uh, take Jackson the ship. Webster says he's jelly about the sweet tea, man. Sounds good right now. Hey, it's awesome. So that stuff is 100. The, the liquid diamonds is 107. 
So if I just stop in the middle of this and start pouring pin blanks, we'll know why. But at least they're they're we're in a better position than we was last time because I could just pour them and I don't need a pressure pot for the liquid diamond. So uh, we'll just we'll just do. Let me restart this. Let me build this. This one has Banksy pods. This one has some Banksy pods and other cool stuff. Precision transmission is out in the shop. That's an awesome What's YouTube up? channel as well. If you uh, if you're into your cars, yeah. Uh, so it's up, guys? good, Jake. Uh, keep up the hard work. <laughs> thank you, thank you. You guys are tearing it up, man. Yeah, they're rocking send me, it. Send me some of your mojo. <laughs> so here we go. This is a piece of walnut that I cut to fit in the bottom of that, and it fits pretty good. And so here's some Banksia pods that I cut up, that should be pretty cool. And I'm gonna clamp those to the sides. And I think that one's just gonna fall in there. The longer ones, let me see here. So I think I'm gonna go like this and just clamp it to the side. Cause I want them when you turn it, you don't want them to be in the middle, what you're just going to turn away as the center. So kind of just randomly put them in here. Um, Once again. There's a quick, quick question from Auto IZ, uh, ZZ or ZZ. Yep. It says, we'd like to make a car emblem. Will it melt on the sun? Awesome content. Uh, this stuff won't, this stuff won't do very well. I don't think yeah, any I, kind of resin. I have, I have heard uh, um, stories of resin in direct sunlight, and it just melts away. Yeah, it's not going to like it. Hot. And it's going to yellow. Yeah. You know, so it's one of those. It's not a good, not a very good situation. This one, this this wood I'm putting in here has the same kind of. Here's some uh, manzanita stuff. We're just going to pretty much this is just a hodgepodge of stuff and we'll make this um, one jay scott creation says princess auto pressure pots are the harbor freight equivalent for any other canucks in here mine works well there you go all right um, so diane says she's so glad for the info yeah that's uh, what Alex we do suggested making a cookie jar for your mum my mom is all right, man. Uh, uh she, she, she says, Go on, mate. I'm just, it's just like everybody else's mom. They're like, Can you make me this? Can you make me, <laughs> can you make me this? And you end up, you're like, Mom, just stop, relax. I'll get you. I'll get you. When I do make something for her, it's usually pretty over the top. So, but I can't, you can't just make stuff for people. It's 120 already on that one. I'm going to start mixing these. Uh, Nancy is asking, uh, what, uh, I'm sorry, but what is the cylinder you, you use? I'll get my words out in a minute. <laughs> I'm sorry, but what is the cylinder you are using called? Miss that part. It's a, it's just a, it's what do they call it. Is Matt still in the thing in the chat? He, they use it. It's just a HDPE, uh, testing mold for, for, um, cement, like people that test cement and stuff like that. Uh, and that's what kind of thing that Matt does for a living. And when he was here, he gave me a whole box of them and that, and I made that last blank with one and it's fantastic. It's a, it's a awesome and getting it out. It's easy to poke a hole at the bottom and squirt some air in there and it pops it right out. It's pretty cool. Um, Jen's craft and creation says, uh, Jake, are the banks here pod stabilized, please? Thank you. Uh, yes. Yes. And I and I sliced them thin enough to where I didn't have to worry about the the resin getting in all the little nooks and crannies. Corey uh, Corey Michaels is used a good point. He says use boat resin for anything that will be yeah. used outdoors. There you I go. can't remember what, what that resin is. It's called. Um, uh, there's there's uh, there's tons the and tons of kinds use of, it a lot. Yeah. I can't remember what it's called. There's but I don't tons think that's of casting resin though, is it? Yeah, uh, that, that's just like you coat it. You probably coat it with that or whatever. But um, 
there's tons of stuff out there that mm. I'm just, I mean, I'm not an expert at anything really, but not, I mean, what I did was I started using resins and you get what you, you get the resin that you want, you, you get a resin and you just kind of learn how to work with it and learn it's uh, what it likes to do and what it doesn't like to do. And then, uh, go ahead. Go on. Oh, no, so Jen, uh, Jen said, uh, I would worry about the food safety for a cookie jar. Uh, Matt said, yeah. a four by eight cylinder mold from the MA industry. Yeah. Um, yeah. Super Incognito or Alex says, Alumilite products are mostly food safe. Once they're cured, like this stuff, this stuff I'm doing right now, and then their coating epoxies, all that stuff, once it's the full cure is, like, say this stuff is seven days, after that, it's supposed to be food safe. That's how they how they word it. And uh, once again, Cindy Keo has sent a super sticker. Cindy is a superstar, and this is her blank. This is a Cindy blank right here. Let's get see if we'll see what the temperature um, is on these. One twenty seven on the liquid diamond, so <laughs> we might be taking a detour here pretty quick. <laughs> we've got uh, we've got about no uh, how long we got nine minutes or so uh to get another yeah. what, how long we got, hey, got a lot of it, another 48 people in the chat in the thing or a lot more 63 people to give it a thumbs up for that little psalm psalm yeah well sometimes we're just not going to get there jamie so it's a, no. one of those deals one of those deals uh cj's hobbies has made a good point as well it says you can also make a cylinder mold out of a pvc pipe yep I've done that plenty, plenty. Um, Seth over at Brief, uh, Brickhouse Craftsworks says, hi, folks. Sorry I'm late. We've got almost 80 degrees on this stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and get this colors make, uh, poured into the colors. And I might be pouring those liquid diamonds here pretty soon because that's at 47 minutes and it's starting to gain some temperature. But I'll get these ones. I'll get these ones uh, at least divvied up. That way I'm not that behind. Last time I did it, man, I was freaking out because everything was ready to pour at one time. <laughs> and yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, it was pretty sketchy. But uh, you learn from it and then mm -hmm. make it better. Yeah, so now you I'm not going to be... I'm not going to be freaking out. If I have to pour that other one right now, I'm just going to move this stuff out of the way, pour it. I can put it in pressure pot if I want to, but I like to show that you can make cool stuff with that pressure pot too, with that liquid diamonds. And so, it says little, little some, some, LOL. Little some, some, little some, some. That's, that's Jamie's addition to the, to the show. Yeah. Yeah. I always watch, I always, if you forget these and you, they end up with, you can clean them, but it's such a pain. It's just easier to clean it right, right away. Let me take temperature of these right now. Uh, 141. There you is. Go on, mate. You carry on. These are ready to pour. Um, Anita Ball says, where do you get the mold release? Um, and is there a brand you prefer? I use, oh, oh that's the wrong resin. Uh, the mold release I use is from Alumalite. And uh, if you're using plastic stuff, I use um, the stoner stuff. And I'll show you here in a, in a second. Uh, if it's silicone, like I used UMR silicone uh, mold release on this one. And it works really well. I, just, I get it from Alumalite. You go to their Jake Tennant checkout, you get 10% off. And they are great friends of the show. Love those people over there. So I'm going to go ahead and pour this. And I'm not going to be fancy or anything. We're just going to get her done, okay? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Jen says, nice colors, Cindy. Uh, Simone Simmons says, that purple is amazing. It is cool. Uh, Bonnie says, uh, it is smoky up in Sacramento today. We are getting smoke in the Bay Area from fires down south now. Oh, oh my sorry God. To hear that. Look, look at this red, man. I think it's the first time I use this red. It's cool. Di Prout is out there. Uh, hey, guys, I just got the YouTube notification. Thanks, YouTube. Maybe that's why. <laughs> Maybe, that's why yeah. We, that's why we... Thank you, YouTube. 
anyway, the people that are here are here, and everybody's having a good time. Saturday morning cartoons. We're going to do this every Saturday, unless it's, there's like a holiday or we just something comes up. And then the um, – so the the shop updates, I'm just going to put them out at a different time. The Patreon we do the first Saturday every month. I'm going to move that to, I think, 1 o'clock so that the first thing we do in Patreon is demold the stuff that we made on the live. Mm -hmm. That sounds cool, right? And hopefully that doesn't yeah. mess with any of the patrons. But I think having this on here every week consistently will give make sure it'll – if you're consistent, then we can we can have the people know that we're going to be here. Speaker, we can improve everything. I'm all about going forward. Yeah, there's a lot of people saying that about the the colors are fantastic and they're going to look great and they are awesome. Like I'm just going to leave it out. Nice. I'm just going to leave it out too. I'm not going to put it in a pressure pot. And then, so these molds have a fill line on them, and you, you can go above it, and you still have a little bit of room, so you're not spilling stuff everywhere. I think I'm going to get a stick and swirl these two. Sometimes I don't. Sometimes I do. So I'm going to do this. Can, is that a good view, guys? Yep. I'm not going to do much. Just kind of agitate it a little bit. Almost looks like what the grandbaby threw across the park a lot. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to put this to the side. And then uh, I'll get a torch and I'll go ahead and, and I'll pop the bubbles on that. We'll get these ones back over here and mix these. Hopefully this isn't confusing anybody doing too many. Mom uh, says even though, it's, uh, even though it's not copper, they are gorgeous. Oh, just wait for the next one, Mom. I thought we just made up. I thought we just made up. You come back talking trash. Wait, you better. It should please her, though. Yeah, it should be all right. It should be all right. So there's people that were really thinking that we were going at it. <laughs> 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 uh, it's all good. Had all these girls in here ganging up on me and you. I know, right? Well, not me. I was looking out for my arm. You was a bully, not me. Is that why she wears your shirt? Yeah. She goes and buys your merch and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> That's good stuff. You are, Bonnie. Bonnie says, Mama Thompson, are you a copper fan? I love making jewelry with copper. Mama loves her coins. She loves copper. She always has. Always love copper. She collects coins, does she not? Yeah. Yeah, she does. Settle down. Mom says, do you want me to talk trash? Because I can. Yeah, settle down. <laughs> Simmer down now. Relax. It's all right. We, everything's cool. <laughs> George says, watch out, Jake. I know. Hey, she's, a, she's a rowdy one, that's for sure. Uh, I, think, yeah. I think you'll be making mama sandwich next. So we're, I would, too. I would. This orange is awesome. And the, yeah, uh, and the equal says, love the orange. We're almost at 100 degrees, too, so we're almost ready to pour this. Um, hey, the craft festival kind of makes us think we have an hour only because we have somebody following us. but So we get a little bit of time crunch, but we really don't need to. Um, so we're almost, this is almost going to pour, and then we'll do a pin blank giveaway and tell everybody goodbye till next week. We'll talk about the thing we need to talk about at the end and... So, mm -hmm. let's see here. 104. So, we're ready to pour. Uh, right here. Let's get the bottom of this to be some purple action. This this business. Is that okay? Uh, Alex has got to take off. All right, Alex. Be good. Stay out of trouble. You know how them kids are. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Stay out of trouble. He's over here watching... Uh, mold making videos. I'm pretty sure he's staying out of trouble. Uh, Anita Ball says, I'm from Tennessee, so I love anything orange. Right?
like that Peyton Manning's forehead on Monday Night Football. <laughs> Those guys are awesome on there. Uh, she'll know what I'm talking about if she likes Tennessee. Joey's Roll a big up. fan of orange. Yeah, he loves it. Let me get a few of this. Get some of this stuff thrown in there. Is just some extras. Extras. Yeah. It's a new word. A Texas word. We make up stuff. Here's a bunch of orange. Wayne, Wayne Hillman's out there. He says Saturday mornings with Jake and Jamie. Awesome, huh? <laughs> so happy with that. Uh, Bonnie says, uh, Mama T, next time I send Jake a package, I'll try to remember to send you something I made with copper. Bonnie is awesome. Um, I was going to do some stabilizing this week, and then I was going to have some some things that Bonnie sent me, and, and uh, that's going to have to be next week. I just, hey, I can't, I just couldn't do get everything done I wanted to get done this week. Mm-hmm. You know, Jamie and knows. Jamie knows. Says, oh, yes, we know. Uh, we all know Peyton Manning. Yeah. He's awesome. Mama says, Bonnie, that would be so sweet of you. Bonnie's awesome. Bonnie, I almost feel bad for not having that stuff done yet, but when it gets done, it will be super awesome. Mm hmm. And I'm going to make a stabilizer video with it, too. And it'll be all Bonnie stuff I stabilize. So I'm going to throw a little bit of stuff down in there just for fun. Try to wedge it. Try to wedge Bonnie it Bonnie says, uh, do you have PSDs? I don't know if she's talking to you or mom, Jake. What's that? About PSDs. Mm, I don't. Mom does. I have a funny story about Pierce Steers, but that's not for this show. It's not for this show at all. Let me do my first grade taping thing. Uh, if you want to hear that show, you, know, you can join the uh, Jake's Patreon, where we have a lot of fun. Yeah, it's a we never overstep the boundaries. No, nah, we take care of take care of each other, each other's feelings, and but. We don't have Big Brother telling us what we can say or not to say or stuff like that. We make cool stuff, give stuff away. Um, it's a lot. Of, it's it's. Fun. I think it's probably more fun for us than it is everybody else. Yeah, I'll be honest. Yeah. <laughs> uh, CJ's hobby says after the show, I'll be turning a hemp wood and copper fountain pen. Nice. Yeah. Nice, sweet. Okay, I think that's pretty good. Everybody got a good dose of that right there. Uh, let's go into the fresh pot. Uh, Wayne Hillman says, I'm starting to get into stabilizing. I can't wait for the C equals video. I have a, uh, I have a video out there that's pretty, pretty popular about stabilizing. And so this next one I'm going to make is just going to, it's going to be on pine cones and stuff. But it's going to be answering some of those questions, and they're all ba pretty basic. Pretty basic it, questions. It is a. Uh, it probably is a Patreon story, Anna. Yep. Yep. <laughs> There's a lot of stories that are only Patreon. <laughs> We're all adults here. Uh, Mama says, "Yes, I do, Jake. Uh, Jake, yes, I do. Jake had one ear until I saw it." That's the story. Is how I got it. Um, let's. I'm gonna pop some bubbles here so everybody sees how we do that. Uh, I just have a little torch. Where's that? This is my old torch. Hopefully it works. It kind of looks like sloth from the Goonies. Hey, sometimes I gotta look like sloth. See that? Hey guys. So, and I'll just. Quickly go over this. Don't stay too long. Don't burn your silicone. Pop your little bubbles, and you're done. And you'll do it. I'll come back like another five minutes or so and pop some bubbles. There's one. You'll pop some, and you'll be good to go. Bonnie so, says, I came home uh, to visit with a magnetic nose ring once, 
and knocked instead of using my key. My dad answered and shut the door in my face when he saw it. <laughs> awesome. Uh, hey, um, I was home on leave one time and I had a, a I have a Mighty Mouse tattoo. I'm eating cereal. <laughs> Didn't think I had my shirt off. My mom, like, what the boop 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 is that? Too late at that point. I'm like, come check it out. <laughs> so we got a pin blank giveaway to give. Uh, let's talk about what we need to talk about. You want to talk about Braxton first? I think you knew him better than me. And I'll get um, you a big, big screen TV here. Yeah. Hello. Uh, Hello so I, 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 for the first, I don't know, I've been in this community uh, quite a few years, many, many years. Um, I, I knew Braxton for a lot of them years. Right at the very, very start, I started talking to Braxton almost. Um, and we used to hang out a lot. And it, it was, I'm just, just, I'll keep reminiscing of the, the hangouts that he used to do turning in and he just used to set up his grill in his driveway or his workshop and hang out and just, just so many laughs. He's always so nice, uh, nice and polite. And uh, he's been on the craft festival before. It's like easy to talk to. I mean, is it, I mean, we had this thing about a, a joke about wrestling. I mean, I grew up watching wrestling um, and he was a bit of a, a wrestling fan. Uh, of the WWE or WWF, whatever you want to call it. So we kind of joked about that every now and again. And he made a wrestling belt, and I, we joke about how I take that off of him when I see him. And yeah, it's 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 going to be difficult not messaging him or getting a message from him, you know, yeah. and things like that. Oh, I uh, you good, Jamie? Ready? Yeah. For me? I went to Oklahoma in the. 2017 maybe 2018 and uh i went to go meet jay bates and uh, crafted workshop and sean stone and i got to meet all those guys but and uh, at this point in time i'm like i'm not no one knows who i am so i'm walking around and i'm going to meet those guys and braxton's over there turning and he like picks me he's like hey come here dude and he just talks to me uh i'm pretty good i kind of have a job where i got to read the room and you read people and he wasn't hard to read at all. He's a warm, old soul, and uh, he'll be thoroughly missed by his family and everything. Um, we talk about coupon codes and do this and go to Amazon and buy all this stuff. And I just say it, and it's, and it's out there for you. I'm asking. This time I'm asking. Um, there's a there's a GoFundMe below. Um, give what you can, $5, a dollar, $100, whatever you can, you can muster up to help this family out. This is one of the the best human beings in this community. So uh, pl pretty please go to the link, give some money and uh, pray for his family. So, yeah. Um, there you go. Pin blank giveaway, Jamie. You're going to pick. Let's see. How are we going to do this? Is Jen Smith still in there? Yeah. I think Jen? Colton summed it up the best guy ever. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Jen Smith, can you pick a winner for the pin blanks today there, young lady? Pretty please. And get off my mom's side, too. I saw, I saw what you were talking. <laughs> Pretty please pick a winner. Um, we are going to do this every Saturday, 10 o'clock. And then the Patreon will be moved an hour. So like right now it's going to be, it's 11 o'clock, 12, one o'clock first Saturday every month at one o'clock instead of 12. <laughs> Pick a winner, Jen. Come on, man. Uh, <laughs> Anita, Anita's always like this. <laughs> birthday She's girl. The birthday girl, Leah Gwynn. That's a good, good call. Leah Gwynn. Leah, we'll call her Leah. Leah Gwynn, get the blanks. Let me show them to you real quick before we get off here. Whoosh. There we go. Got a hybrid one and two awesome ones. Pretty cool. Uh, Leah, 
I think I have. I might have your address. Uh, send me your address, and I'll get that thing out Monday. Let me get my face back here. Yeah. So, congratulations, to Layla. Um, once again, Braxton was a wonderful man. So let's uh, go take care of him. Uh, we'll come back next week. If they do any, they might. There might be some fundraisers or whatever. We will get involved in whatever they do, and I'll let you guys know what. Yeah, yeah, we'll let down. stuff like that. Um, so that's about it. I got the second channel. I have a cutting board video going out tomorrow. I have a link below, and I'm doing karate on it. So you can't miss that. Uh, cartoon guy doing karate. There's also a link to this, the money bowl down there on the second channel. If you haven't been over there, subscribe. Watch a couple videos, all music videos, it's all fun and uh, fun to watch. So let's mm -hmm. go do that. What else we got, Jamie? No, I've got a premiere coming out tomorrow at um, 11 p.m. UK time or 6 p.m. Eastern. And I have a, uh, I have a link to Jamie's channel down below too. So let's let's get off here, Jamie. We'll see everybody next week. Um, hopefully, I'll be a little more active on Instagram and stuff for you guys. If people leave me alone, I would be able to do it. <laughs> it just is what it is. It is what it is. People aren't going to learn. So anyway, uh, see you guys later, and hope you guys like the new logo and stuff. Go check out that guy. His link's below. So in the broadcast, at tip. All right, thanks, Jamie. My now my mouse isn't working. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Here it is. <laughs>